I was born and raised in Kahnawake Mohawk Territory, and now I call Toronto home. So when I first moved off the res, I went to uh, an audition with a casting director who I had auditioned with before, but I had only done self-tape auditions. And she looked at me and she made an offhand comment that shook me. She was just like, oh, you cut your hair. I used to call you Pocahontas. And I froze. That in itself is a slur, and the real story of Pocahontas is one of uh, rape and like molestation of children, and it's she was like nine years old, so it's not a compliment. So far, we're only witnessing tragic stories, the stories of colonization, the stories of trauma that Indigenous people have faced, but Native people are funny. Native people fall in love. Native people are messy and have breakups and, and really scary stories. And that forced me to take control of my own narrative as a creative and to not only be an actor, but to be a filmmaker and, and collaborator in this industry to see Indigenous stories and my stories as a Ganyagahaga queer woman moving forward. So a few years ago, after Rams for Young Ghouls, I had anticipated a huge change in my life. I thought that I was finally a lead in a feature film. Doors were gonna open for me and things were gonna change, except there still weren't any roles for indigenous characters, let alone indigenous leads. It's a matter of us collectively working together to confront this issue of misrepresentation and lack of representation of BIPOC creatives. We should seek more from our stories because there's so much more in the 500 plus indigenous cultures across this country that we haven't seen in film and TV before.